When I initially share with people that I have a website or a blog that makes several million dollars per year, I often get that look of like, what, what do you mean? How does that work? Your site doesn't really make that much money. And trust me, like I get it. Trying to understand and comprehend how a website, especially a blog could make that much money per year. Like sometimes even I have to pinch myself. Now for those of you that just can't comprehend it, that it just doesn't make sense, I get it. So to help you, understand, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go back in time and share with you an income report, one of the first, actually the first income report I ever did sharing how much my blog makes so that you can see the beginning of how it all started and where it is today. Welcome to Wealth Hacker TV, the channel dedicated to teaching you new ways to grow wealth that was not taught to you by your parents or in schools. I'm your host, Jeff Rose, and today we're talking about online income, blogging income. So I have been blogging since 2008. Whew, that is a long time. Now, I started the blog, I was a financial advisor, and when I started the blog, initially I couldn't make any money because of compliance stuff, that's a whole other story. In 2011, I changed my business structure and then I could make affiliate income, I could add Google AdSense, I could do a lot more things with the blog, so I did. Now in this whole time frame though, my wife Mandy, she also had a blog, houseofroseblog.com, and she started her blog mostly to share pictures of our kids with family, but then she started connecting with other mom blogs and she realized, wow, I could actually make some extra money on the side too. So as we are beginning this journey, I'm making money with my blog, she's making money with her her blog, I came up with this great idea. And this idea was let's have a blog together where we share how much money we're making from our blog and some of our best practices from blogging and just some other good stuff. And oh, another great idea, let's start a podcast to do that as well. So that's what we did. And that's when we started at Dollars and Roses. You get it? Dollars, roses, dollars were the roses. Okay, great. Glad that you got that. Okay, so Dollars and Roses was this brand that we started. We had a podcast, we had a website, and we did that for, my goodness, I think it was like a year and a half, two years. So the site actually does not exist anymore. We end up canceling, closing out that project. I think you can still find the podcast on iTunes if you wanna to listen to some of these older podcasts, still some good material. But as we started this new brand, as we started this new project, we then started our income report. And we modeled this after several other bloggers that were doing this, and you see a lot more people doing this nowadays. And the idea was just to be transparent, sharing, hey, here's how much we make, uh, here's some of the lessons learned, and that's what we did. And it was a lot of fun for a long time, and then it just got to a point where we just got tired of it, and it was just more of a distraction. So uh, we just kind of just killed that whole project, podcast, blog all together. But it's fun now that I can go back and see like in the beginning, you know, how much were we making from our site? And what you're getting ready to see in this income report, the part that just blows me away is my main blog, Good Financial Sense. Like to see how much it was making then versus how much I'm making now, like it's just, it's almost laughable. Almost. Uh, it, it is surreal to see like how far it's came in not a very long amount of time. So I'm gonna share how closely how much we're making now, but first let's go ahead and look at how much we were making then. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this income report. It has been a minute since I have looked at this. Uh, it's just funny seeing it on my wife's blog. Uh, December 2011, that was some time ago. Uh, so just uh, as, as I mentioned earlier in this video, you know, this was me being able to share how much I'm making from the blog. So we're kind of giving some backstory, you know, talking about my main blog and all that stuff, talking about my Panda update, but then uh, just look into the numbers. So Good Financial Sense, which is my main site right now, shows that in AdSense, I made $469.48. Now keep in mind, like there was a peak about two years before that, that I made almost, I was over five grand from Google AdSense. And this month was $469. Uh, and Sphere, gosh, I don't even know what that was. I think that was, 
maybe some sort of display ad network I think I was testing at the time. You know, paid a whopping $164.89. What? Look out. Commission Junction, uh, CJ, uh, T CJ.com is an affiliate network, paid me six bucks. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, Flex Offers, which another uh, ad network that I used to be a part of, I'm still part of them, but a lot of the affiliates end up migrating to another ad network. So that one was $367. And then direct advertising, which was probably some sort of sponsored post. Maybe it was a text link that I was selling. Don't do that, because that's shady. Shady selling those text links. So in total, Good Financial Sense made $1,197.37. <laughs> oh my goodness, 1100 bucks. Wow, um, my goodness. Obviously, a lot has changed since then, and I'll share more on that uh, after we look at this. So, and then I mentioned other niche sites. So AdSense was $168, and direct advertising was $1533.64 for a total of $1,700. Um, other niche sites, so I can't remember. I think I just started the life insurance site, but I don't think it was making any money then. I had another site uh, that was called, it was a retirement blog. It was, I think, at consumerboomer.com. That site doesn't exist anymore. I think I had a other few niche sites, and most of those I was just selling text links, sponsored posts. I was just selling what I could to make some money. So that was $1,700. Uh, House of Rose, my wife's blog, all she had at the time was just blog her ads, which was another, an ad network that was specifically for mostly like mommy bloggers. So she made $114. Freelance writing, so I was writing for Equifax's blog. Equifax is like a, what, a credit um, type company uh, they were paying me a hundred dollars an article so i got paid two hundred dollars for those articles other sources of revenue uh, a weber which was an email uh, email uh, service I, I guess i was an affiliate of theirs uh, that's who i started with now with convert kit so got paid 30 bucks for that mobile assistant which is a service i still use i guess i was an affiliate somebody bought it so 55 dollars, and then just to kind of clout myself as being an online marketer. I added some, some online planning fees, so I must have got a new client to the financial planning practice at the time uh, that paid $500 for some sort of financial plan. So all in all, the first income report, grand total, was $3,798.15. I mean, and that ain't bad, right? But I'm just thinking, oh my goodness, like that's such a long time ago. Uh, then I go into some future projects, which I don't really share much on there, but that was it. So that was the first income report that we published. And now let's break that down for you right now. All right, so that is a look of how much we were making then with our sites. Now, on my wife's blog, she really doesn't blog anymore. She made a decision a couple years ago that with our youngest son and then with our daughter, uh, when we adopted her, that she wanted to spend more time with them and just not be sucked into the whole online business blogging world. So she has taken a extended sabbatical. Now the cool thing with her site, like she still makes, I wanna say like almost $1,000 a month still from her blog, even though she has not published a post, like maybe one post in the last, on let's say a year, uh, maybe a year and a half. Now she is on Instagram, she loves Instagram, and that still drives traffic to her site, also with Pinterest. So it's kind of cool to see, like she set up this blog that doesn't do anything and she's still making about $1,000 a month. So that's pretty legit. Now with my site, you know, good financial sense to make $1,100 uh, back then, December of 2011. Uh, this year, so right now at the time of recording, it is January 2019. Uh, last year, 2018, so the blogs brought in uh, just over two and a half million dollars. Uh, we're on track to at least double that, maybe up 70% 2019. Now it's the beginning of the year, so a lot of things can happen, but the way that things have been trending and some of the things that we're working on, like it looks pretty, it looks like it's gonna happen. So just kind of put that into context. 
December 2011, we're making $1,100 from that site. January 2019, we're making close to $400,000 in one month. That still blows me away. Uh, I'm gonna say that again because it's worth saying again. And that just blows me away, the fact that it has grown that much. Like there has been so much that has happened and that is going to come via a YouTube series. So stay tuned where I share kind of behind the scenes how we grew this little blog into this um, behemoth of a website that generates as much money as it does. And the cool thing is like the systems that we have set up, like we have some great people taking care of a lot of it to where myself, I don't do a lot. Um, actually don't do almost anything. Um, kind of sometimes maybe we'll see anyway, but I just want to kind of show you like for those that are wanting to start some sort of blog, some sort of online business, some sort of YouTube channel podcast, and you get so frustrated because you see all these people sharing some amazing numbers, some, uh, just some crazy income reports that are just not relatable because like, man, I will never get there. Well, let me show you today how much money that we were making. I mean, we made $3,700. I mean, that's great. Now keep in mind though, like that was December, 2011, and we already have been blogging since July, August of 2008. So we're talking three years of blogging consistently to get to the point where we're making under $4,000 per month. So that still took a lot of time. And now fast forward to present day where we're at now, and we're not putting on nearly as much work and we're getting that much more in return. And that just shows consistency and networking and strategies and outsourcing and delegating and just so many things that I can't wait to share with you more as this channel develops. So anyway, hope you liked this little sneak peek into a blast from the past, how things used to be, where we're at today. And just to show you that this is something that can happen, but you gotta start, you gotta put in the work, you gotta get going instead of just watching YouTube videos, reading blog posts, you gotta actually implement, take action. Hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Peace.